the Ministry of Industry, Commerce, Agriculture and Fisheries is looking to employ the use of drone technology in the agriculture sector to provide useful data to drive production and productivity. Collaborating with local company DNC Drones, Minister Without Portfolio J.C. Hutchinson held a demonstration with farmers in Low River Trelawney in August. It showed the farmers that the drones will be able to assess damage to their sector from natural disasters such as a flood and help them identify measures to boost crop yield. What we are looking for the drone to do is that once we have crop damage after a hurricane or a flood, we usually find that when we, the estimates come in, we find that the estimates are not usually correct because many of the extension officers can't reach the areas where the damage is. With the drone, we are able to go over and identify all the crops, all the animals that have been lost, and bring back the picture within a day. Director of DNC Drones, Nigel Davies, said this type of drone technology is called precision agriculture. Which basically is collecting data in real time, analyzing that data, and then interpreting the data to in advise the farmer as to the status of his crop, which is basically his, his nutrient contents in his, in his crop, the moisture content in his field, and how much he has. Because this technology can also count the number of hills of yam, uh, potato plants, uh, tomato plants in the field. We can assess, let's say, the number of animals that died. We can measure that. We can tell you that, wait, wait a minute, that these guys had 20 acres of yam here, and we knew that six months ago it was 50 hills of yams. We now can say he lost 50 hills of yams. So the drone technology is used widely in disaster management. Other benefits of the drones include giving a clear picture of crops under production and identifying areas with irrigation needs and crops that are lacking in nutrients. We have what we call a multispectral camera, which is this little camera on this particular drone. And it takes pictures of the plants. As you well know, plant leaves basically absorb sunlight and reflect sunlight. So this is a special camera that reject uh, infrared or near infrared and then it can use that data using an algorithm to tell us how much nitrogen, how much potassium, how much uh, phosphorus or the lack thereof in a plant. We also can tell you the moisture content in the field. Now if that can be done, we will be able to tell the farmer what needs to be done with his different crop. And with that, we are looking at seeing how we can not only increase production, but we can increase productivity. So with the technology, we are looking to see if we can bolster agriculture. The drone demonstration in Trelawney is the first of an island-wide campaign by the Agriculture Ministry to sensitize farmers about the benefits of the technology. We feel that it can be able to counteract predialized in a certain way and we are going to see how we can get it going so that we are able to counteract predialized for the farmers. We can identify cows or any animals as the case may be that may be hidden anywhere. Let's say for example my storm. You know my storm only have five goats in his field but all of a sudden in the backyard, he may have another 10. We can survey that area and identify the number of cows or goats, as the case may be, using our thermal imaging camera. We can't solve the problem, but we can aid in recovery of animals or monitor a man's farm. Minister, we're going to work with you and try to streamline the technology to ensure that we can attain that goal. I think the drone is going to make a big difference as far as us moving forward in agriculture. I want to see a revolutionization of agriculture in this country.